What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be rolling out with a brand new Pokemon that I absolutely love in Generation 9, King Gambit. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But yeah, this team right here is actually super cool. It's got a lot of cool Pokemon. And a lot of Pokemon you don't get to see too much on the meta, like the Hariyama, the Skelly Jurge, and you also got the Dragon Bolt and the Farigaraf. And then obviously Miascarada in top right. But that is more on like the meta side. I feel like you see a lot of Miascarada teams on the rank ladder as of right now. But we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have Hariyama. Hariyama is super good for two reasons. Its first reason is because it's a great fake out user. And its second reason is it is phenomenal in the trick room. Considering its attack so high and its speed so low, you get this Pokemon in trick room, it can shred through teams. It has Guts and Flame Orb as its item and ability. Then it's Rock and Knock Off, Drain Punch for stab and HP recovery, Wide Guard to protect the ally Pokemon from double hitting moves. And then we got Fake Out for our final move. Second Pokemon is going to be Mouscarada over here with Protean and Choice Band as its item. This Pokemon can hit like a truck, giving it the Choice Band, it's going to be able to hit even harder. It's got Flower Trick, Knock Off as its item, U turn to pivot, and Low Kick for a nice, lovely coverage move. Middle left is going to be King Gambit over here, and this Pokemon is so sick. I absolutely love its design, and I love how they did the names with like kind of like the chessboard. You got Pawnyard for a Pawn, you got Bisharp for a Bishop, and then you got King's Gambit, which is like a play in chess. So really cool design and really cool like backstory with these Pokemon. I absolutely love it. This Pokemon has Defiant to kind of uh, counter up on an Intimidate Pokemon. It has a Life Orb as item, and it's got Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Kowtow Cleave, and Protect for its final move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Skelly Dirge over here, and this Pokemon's so sick. You just can't go wrong with the, fry, the Fire Crocodile. It has Unaware as ability, and then it's rocking the Throat Spray as item, which is going to be absolutely amazing, considering it has Torch Song. If you guys do not know, Torch Song is a signature move, and every time you use it, you get plus one special attack boost. With the Throat Spray, if we use Torch Song, we're going to actually get a plus two special attack boost for the first time using it, and from there, we can pretty much just roll out and step on teams. We're just going to be able to slam Pokemon with Shadow Ball, Torch Song again, just doing a crazy amount of damage. This Pokemon's got Slack Off and Will-O-Wisp for its other two moves. Bottom left hand poke or bottom left hand corner is going to be for Rigoraf. For Rigoraf, I don't actually I use it once. I use it once in competitive battle, and I really like this Pokemon. I think it's a great trick room setter and also has a phenomenal ability of Armor Tail, which protects the team from first hitting moves. So no sucker punches while that Pokemon's out, no fake outs. It's gonna be awesome. It has Cobra Berry as an item, Dazzling Gleam, Helping Hand, Protect, and Trick Room for its four moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Dragapult over here with the Choice Specs and the Infiltrator as its ability. I'm not too sure if Infiltrator hits through Protect, but it hits through like, uh, I think Screens and Substitutes, which is really good. I'm going to have to look up if it hits through Protect, but I'm not too sure. It has Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Hydro Pump for an amazing Choice Specs moveset. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, another code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, look to get some wins with this King Gambit team. First match coming at you guys going up against a Dodonzo team. How are we going to counter this one? How are we going to play? It does have unaware. You guys let me know in the last video. I always knew that, but I always forget whenever I'm playing it. So I'm going to try to remember this time. He also has the Tatsugimi and then the uh, Armourouge to set Trickrim if need be. And then uh, Sylveon, Hydreon, and Miascarad, who can also set Trickrim. So how should I play this one? How should I go into it? He doesn't have any first turn priority moves, so Frigoraph might not be the Pokemon that we want to go into. We could go Hariyama and just fake out turn one and then maybe roll out with Trickrim. I mean, what's going to be really good? Miascarada for that uh, Dodonzo, so I am going to be bringing that Pokemon, but more so in the back end. I feel like we get a lot more value out of this Pokemon. Let me check out King's Gambit's uh, speed stat right now. 49. I think we might just want to pop a Trick Room. I'm thinking I want to pop a Trick Room here. I'm going to go Frigoraf, and I'm going to go Hariyama. I'm going to try to pop Trick Room, get Guts going, go King Gambit in the back end, and then just have Miascarada chilling. I'm with that. I want that all day. Let's get it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if we could just get off one flower trick on on that, uh, what is it, on that Dodonzo, I think we should be sitting fine. It crits, so it bypasses all the defense drops, all that good stuff. It's stab, and then you got choice ban on top of that. Should be able to do a crazy amount of damage. Let's see. He's going to end up leading Hydreigon and Meowskarada over here, which isn't too bad. Definitely could pop a trick room. Um, I think we just protect our Hariyama, correct? We have the Colber Berry, which can help us out if need be. But yeah, I think we just pop the trick room and we go into a nice, lovely fake out here. Right? I mean, obviously not protect, but I think fake outs are cool. But who do we fake out here? Yaskarada is kind of scary. Hydreigon, what do you got? What do you, what do you have, Hydreigon? 
dark dragon moves. I, I think we're fine. We're just faking out Miascarada here. Yeah, I'm all about faking out the Miascarada, especially could, because it could be Sash and it could be countering our Trick Room as well. So I'm just going to do that. The Dark Pulse comes out here. Cobra Berry is going to help us out. We love it. You should be able to soak up Frigoraph all day. Love you. And then Trick Room should be able to pop out for us. And yo, the camera angle is all wet. But you can't even see my Hariyama. You can't even see my Hariyama. <laughs> He's just chilling there. The Trick Room is going to come out and about. Hariyama's going to pop guts, which is absolutely amazing. And he's going to be able to just start hitting up on these Pokemon. I don't really mind if Frigoraph goes down, to be honest. I'm just going to drop a Dazzling Gleam and I'm just going to Drain Punch you. Who should I Drain Punch? I think Miascarada. Because again, that's a Pokemon with Trick Room, right? So I'd rather get rid of that. I would definitely get rather get rid of Miascarada. And that's, the best part about having Trick Room out and about is Dodonzo gets a plus two boost on uh on speed if it, if he has it. But I don't think he has it considering he just showcased Sylveon and Hydreon, so I doubt he just has Dodonzo or Sylveon. No. So I'm gonna gleam here. I'm also gonna drain punch. We are going to get rid of the Miascarada. And I might terror type my Hariyama here. Not too sure. I do have knock off. I do have a lovely little knock off. I could get rid of throat spray if it's on that Pokemon, which it probably is, you know. It's most likely on that Pokemon. My problem here would be, I don't think Hariyama could actually eat up a shot from Sylveon, which is a problem. Or maybe even Armour, so I'm hoping my terror typing could be something good, because I would love to throw slice this Pokemon right now. It's going to be fighting. Not too good, but I can knock off and try to get rid of Armour. Because I have other Pokemon to deal with that. Uh, I have King Gambit in the back end to deal with that Sylveon. I'm going to get rid of the Armour. I don't mind if my... Uh, if my Hariyama or Frigoraph go down here. Because then I can bring out the uh, King Gambit. I can pretty much just steamroll the battle, right? Terra, terra type. I think we're a water terra type. We can legit just go out from there. I'm all about it. Knockoff just dumps on Arm Rouge. Yo, Hariyama's where it's at. Hariyama is where it's at. But again, we know Sylveon's going to pop this Hyper Voice, right? And potentially pick up a double KO. Potentially, right? No, Hariyama eats. Wow. Okay, that is definitely GG's now. That is night night. He's got, he's, it's over with. It's over with. You're forced to bring out Hydreigon, which my Hariyama can one tap, no problem. Unless he Terrasilize, obviously. And then I have my, my King Gambit over here, which. Ooh. I'm going to Terrasilize King Gambit. I'm going to Terrasilize King Gambit. And the reason I want to Terrasilize King Gambit is because most of the time, Sylveons are fire terror type. They are fire terror type. So. If he Terrasilizes the Sylveon in the fire and goes after my King Gambit, I can be water and I can dodge out this move. So, I'm all about that. I'm going to Terrasilize here. I thought Cleave's a cool move. I really like that. Never misses. And I'm still just going to throw an Iron Head straight over that slot. It just seems like my best play. Because if he doesn't Terrasilize, we pick up the KO. If he does Terrasilize, it's fine. We can still pick up some damage, have a chance to flinch. But more importantly, my uh, Drain Punch here will just dump on the Hydreigon. Because that means the Hydreigon can't Terrasilize. We're thriving in match number one. Match number one, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. I love both these Pokemon, Hariyama and King Gambit. So good. Please don't cancel battle. I want this battle to go all the way. He's going to end up Terrasilizing. Or is that me? Is that me? That might be me. That might be your boy Jeans. This one is your boy Jeans. The Gambit out and about. Going all water type. This Pokemon's sick. I can't believe they gave Bisharp an evolution too. I thought that was really cool. And they made it work really well. Because Bisharp already looks like cool enough to be a final evolution. And now it's a second evolution. That's just wild to me. But yeah, Terrasilize ends up happening. And this thing stays fairy. Okay, you were dead. You were dead. You were dead. Stays fairy. You should have probably Terrasilize last turn. Iron Head comes out here. That's GG's. You're dead. Drain Punch coming across. Taking out. Well, should take out the Hydra. No problem. Super effective. Stab. Where Guts boosted. I think Guts gives like a 50% increase. The 1.5 times multiplier. It's just over with. It is over with. Drain Punch flying here. Boop. Get him on out of here. The Trick Room combo of King Gamut and Hariyama just absolutely steamrolled our opponent in match number one. Let's keep it rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. Second battle coming at you guys. And we're going up against a Scissor and Palafin team. And I think I used this team before, right? Or a similar team. I know I used a Scissor and Palafin team. It might be the exact same team. I kind of forget. But he's got Palafin, the Scissor, me Sharada, Pelper to set the rain. And rain's going to just boost the damage for Palafin. That's really all it's going to do. Considering there's no Swift and Pokemon on the team. He also has uh, Amoongus and Arcanine. So I could lead King Gambit. If he wants to go Intimidate, I could just uh, Gambit that and Defiant Boost and kind of go from there. I think Trick Room's just going to be a steady play for us. Go Frigoraph, go in with the Gambit. Try to pop the Trick Room. We can always protect if need be. And then I think Skelly could be nice. I'm not even going to lie. Skelly could be nice. 
Skelly's speed's kind of low. I'm all with the Skelly in this battle. I like the Skelly here. Super effective up against three of these Pokemon. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. You just gotta watch out for the water Pokemon, obviously. And then last but not least, we could go Miascarada. And Miascarada has a first turn priority. It's rather fast for a back end Pokemon. So I think I'm all with it. Yeah, 192. Either Miascarada or Polk. I think Polk could be good here as well. Polk's really fast. Super effective on the Palafin and the Pelipper with Thunderbolt if we choice into that. Um, we could choice into a Hydro Pump. We just have so many choice moves. So yeah, I think Polt's a little bit better than Miascarada in this uh, position. But I'm all with it. I'm all with it. We have the Flamethrower for the uh, Miascarada and the Scissor. You got the Thunderbolt for the Palafin and the... Uh, what is it? The Palafin and the Pelipper. Flamethrower also works onto the uh, Amoongus. And then you got Hydro Pump for the Arcanine. I feel like we just cover every single typing there. <laughs> like, it's just absolutely amazing. We're loving it. We're loving it. But our opponent is going to throw out Palafin and Scissor to lead. Bull Punches can fly. Actually, Bull Punch cannot fly. We have Armor Tail, which is lovely. Which is lovely. King Gambit can't really set up here. Um, but I can go for a Kaltak lead and start getting off some damage. Obviously, a flip turn. And who would you flip turn into? Potentially. Potentially would flip into... Hmm... Pelipper? No way you flip into Arcanine. No way you flip into Arcanine. I'm just going to go for a Kowtow Cleave, and I'm going to get off as much damage as I can onto the Scissor. And then I'm just going to pop the Trick Room. I have to pop the Trick Room. My team's set up for the Trick Room. Flip Turn obviously comes out here. Chipping up a little bit of damage. Scissor might even Sword Dance here. Scissor could, could Sword Dance here. I and mean, depending on how much damage our, our King Gambit does, I might have to help him hand it. Oh, Pelipper does come out. Paloops! Coming out here. Out and about with the Paloops. With, as long as Frigorath's on the field, it's going to be really good for us. He's going to bring back out Palafin. Wow, that did a ridiculous amount of damage. Definitely bringing him out, back out Palafin. That's a really cool combo. I'm all, I'm all with that. But you cannot Jet Punch me. It's a really cool combo. I'm a big fan of this. I'm a big, big fan of this. But Kowtow Cleed's going to come out here. And you cannot Jet Punch because I have Armor Tail right now. Oh, yeah. Big time damage. We like that damage. We like that damage. Trick Room out and about. Nice place from us. He could protect the Palafin just so we can Jet Punch later. And most of them actually do not rock. So, we should go into another Kowtow Cleave. Kowtow Cleave you, and I guess I'll Gleam across the board, right? Or do I protect for Graph? But, nah, I, th I think we just... If, if Frigoraf goes down, Frigoraf goes down. I'm kind of fine with that. We draw us Palafin. That's fine. So we're going to save Palafin for later. I might want to save my King Gambit out of here. I might want to do that. I don't know. I thought Cleave coming in hot here. How much damage are you doing to Scissor? Dude, we're hitting hard. We're hitting hard. We're hitting hard. We're hitting real hard. Gleam's going to fly here. Helper's got to be going after Frigoraf, right? No, you go after Gambit. I, I don't mind that. You can't bullet punch me. I can just constantly get off the damage. I could go into Skelly here. Skelly wouldn't be bad. I could swap into Grass Typing if I want, though. I could Thrasalize into Grass, which I think is my best bet, right? Skelly in the Grass? Torch Song to take out the Scizor? Get plus two? Then go from there? I think I'm all about it. Oh, and it's Shiny Skelly! It's Shiny Skelly! That looks amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna Thrasalize and get rid of the Skizzy. And, hmm, I'm just gonna protect Pelper. I really don't want the first turn- or not Pelper, I'm gonna protect Frigorath. I really don't want the first turn priority moves coming out. They seem like they're going to be a problem with the bull punches and the depth jet punches in the rain. I just don't need it. I do not need it. So this could actually be a pivotal turn for us in this match. If I can pick up this KO here, I'm going to get a plus two attack boost. Plus two attack boost. And I know it should kill in the rain. Any fire move should kill Scissor basically at any time. Scissor is so weak to fire moves, especially uh, special attack and fire moves. We'll see what Scissor wants to do. Grass side's coming out here. Oh, this Pelper also has Hurricane, which I gotta watch out for. But after my plus two attack boost, I can also be with Trick Room and dump on it. Skelly, Skelly. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hopefully everything works out for us. Is he gonna try slides as well? Grass protects. Do not protect the Scissor. Do not. I repeat, do not. He does not. Beautiful. So Torch Song's gonna fire here. You should die this. Yep, get it on out here. We get the special attack boost, and then Throw Spray is going to also pop here, so we should go a plus two. Where does Throw Spray not pop? Oh yeah, there it is. I was waiting for it. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was like, wait a minute. We're plus two. Hydro Pump does come out here. Perfect Thrasilization from us. We soak rather well. I'm, I'm with it all day. So again, still no first turn priority moves allowed. 
You're not allowed. Miascarada comes out here. I think Miascarada might just protect or something, but so I'm gonna go after the Pelper here. I'm gonna go after the Pelper. I'm just gonna drop a Gleam, because Gleam should be able to do a nice, nice chunk of damage. Oh, bad, yeah. We're playing pretty well here. And then again, we still have... If I can waste out Rain, I don't know if he has the Damp Rock, but if I can waste out Rain, that could be good. The other thing, I don't think Dragapult can eat up a shot. I don't think Dragapult can eat up... There's the Protect. We read that Protect. That's huge. But I don't think Dragapult can eat up a shot in the rain. We'll see how this one plays out here. But Gleam's gonna fly. We should be able to get rid of the Pelper, no problem. And I think we'll have one more turn left in Trick for this, right? Great double down from us. Lovely read of the Protect. Pelper is gone. It is gone, and he's forced to throw out Pal. Who still cannot use Jet Punches. Still cannot use Jet Punches. So as long as we have one, one more turn left in Trick Room, I think we should be really good for this battle. I'm all about it. One more turn left in Trick Room? We do. That is beautiful. And how many turns left in Rain? That's the real question. One turn left in Rain. And one turn left in Trick Room. That is huge. Okay. Um, I think I just Torch Song. I have to Torch Song this, right? Even in the rain, still going to do a ridiculous amount of damage with plus two. And we'll just add some Gleam across the board. And finally, there's the Trasalization. Probably coming out from the Miascarada, right? You guys just saw my mic drop. <laughs> Probably Miascarada, right? No, Palafin's going to go for that all-out water attack. That's kind of looking tough because that double damage could do me dirty. Could do my Dragapult dirty. But I think we're fine. Miascarada goes for double protect. Does not work, yo. We are thriving right now. Jet Punch does not work, yo. This is exactly why I want it. To keep Frigoraph alive, and that's exactly why I did that. So that comes out here. Torch Song coming in hot. Bang bang. See you later, Miascarada. And now you don't have any double hitting moves, and you still cannot go for a first turn priority shot. Oh baby, oh baby, yo. Jeans is buzzing. I'm buzzing right now. I'm playing out of my mind. I'm playing too good, too good with Frigoraph. Frigoraph rolling. He's rolling. But uh, from here, straight up to Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, you. And I obviously just go for this. I mean, if I want a trick room, I could set up a trick room. But it don't matter. Dragon Pult would be faster in the back end. Wave Crash coming in here. We win this match. It's over with. That's not even going to take me out, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't even take me out. Skelly Skelly doing the work. Shadow Balls can come in here, pick up the KO, no problem. It's GG's. It is GG's. 2 0 for today's video. Let's hop into our third. Look for three in a row. I'm slowly pushing up the ranks. I am top 4,000 right now. Slowly going up. I know that's not too high, but we're getting there. We're versus a top 2,000 person. And my record right now is 40 and 23, which is pretty solid, I think. I think that's a solid record. I win a lot of my battles on screen, and then I play a few off screen. But I don't know why. Whenever I'm recording, I'm always playing at my best. But we're 2-0, hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a really strong team. Really, really strong team. He's got Murkrow who can taunt me. Uh, can you actually, you can't taunt the Frigoraph, right? With Armor Tail? Yo, Frigoraph, you're coming in here again. Frigoraph is a dog. Frigoraph is a beast. Um, they can also go in with Hariyama, which isn't too bad. Like, Hariyama can counter a good bit, especially with Fake Out Turn 1. I am liking that. I am liking the Hariyama. Yeah, we're going to go Hariyama here. Amoogus could be a pain, especially if you pop Trick Room, but I got to bring Miascarada in the back end. And I think we got to go with the, the Gambit. This Pokemon is just awesome. I love this Pokemon so much. I'm going to go. I'm going to roll out with that Pokemon. Yeah, I'm all about it. Because I don't think Murkrow can taunt me, right? With Armor Tail? Actually, you can. You can, can't you? Because I did it before. I did it before and usually Mental Earth pops. Wow, this might be tough then. I might I might, I might have made a mistake. Might be only for attack and moves. Okay, he throws out these two Pokemon. I'm actually really fine with that. I have the Cobra Berry to kind of protect us. Um, I'm going to fake out the Chomp. I am going to fake out the Chomp. Because our Cobra Berry can kind of take care of uh, whatever the Hydreigon has to offer. So I'll figure out the Chomp. We'll pop Guts. He's going to withdraw Hydreigon. We trick him turn. Unless Amoogus comes out here, which would suck. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> He's going to... Actually, he can't spore me after this, which is huge. He's not allowed to spore me because I have... I will be burned. So I really like that. We're going to take some rough skin damage. Garchomp's going to flinch. Amoogus is just going to start putting my Pokemon to sleep, right? Kind of sucks, but at the same time, I feel like we can get some work done. So, all right. Flame Room's out here. You cannot put me to sleep, which is huge. And I could help in hand this turn before I actually... Before this actually happens. I'm thinking of just helping handing. And maybe looking to go for a Drain Punch. I, mean, I might just knock off the what's called item. I might just knock off this thing's item. 
Is Gar Garchomp might even protect this turn, too. But yeah, I'm helping Handy because I have a feeling he's putting Freakraft to sleep. And I'd rather that be better than nothing. Oh, you son of a biscuit! I could have just ripped it to the chomp. He's going for an EQ. He's EQing all day. I heard soul. That hurts soul. Um, Hariyama should be able to eat this up. And that happens. Okay, wow. That hurts. Uh, do I help a hand again? Or do I gleam? Yeah, help a hand. I go for a stream punch. I would love to get some HP back here. Please don't rage powder here. Please do not powder of the rage. Movies is such a pain. Just put my figure after sleep. Yeah, there it is. They put my figure after sleep. I feel like we should be able to KO the, the chomp here. And get back a nice chunk of HP, which would be amazing. Oh, we don't KO. That hurts so. That one hurts just a tad bit. We're going to take some rough skin damage, but we are going to get some uh, HP back. And we are going to take some burn damage. But Garchomp is going to do some... Oh, he's, he's dancing swords. He's dancing swords. Okay, so he's, he dances the swords. We're hoping Frigger can wake up as soon as possible. I could wide guard this turn. I really could. Um, I'm thinking of wide guarding here. Just so I can waste out turns. I'm trying to waste out these sleep turns. Oh, he's protecting regardless. That's fine. That's fine. He protects that turn. I don't know why. That seemed like a waste for him. I don't understand why he wouldn't just rage battle. Very clear smocks me. Just chip up some damage. We have no attack boosts or defense drops or anything. So. I'm hoping Friggy can wake up here. So I, I need Friggy to wake up, to be honest with you guys. I do need Frigger to wake up because I can gleam here. And I can. I want to go for this knockoff right here. Seeing rage patterns. Come on, yo. I need my pokies waking up. Frigger wake up. You wake up, Garchomp said. For Frigger what are you doing? <laughs> I don't think he's going to go for an EQ. Let's see. Knockoff comes in here. Do some, does some nice damage. Takes off its Wiki Berry, which is pretty solid for us. He ends up going for a Dragon Claw. Can you soak? Frigger I need you. Alright, so there's a few turns left in Trick Room. I think one or two. And I don't really like where I'm sitting, not gonna lie. I really do. Oh, nope, Trick Room's gone. That hurts. Um. Huh. I think we gotta use King, uh, the Gambit here. Do you think he's powdering? He's gotta just be straight up Rage Powder, right? I wanna Sucker Punch so bad, but I know I can't. I'm gonna wide guard just in case. Ah, this is tough. This is tough. I'm gonna wide guard just in case the uh, EQ comes out here. We're gonna do it just in case. Just in case. This is scary. Dragon Call does fly here. Oh no. You're Neptune. We have to get rid of this movie so I can start sucker punching. Can you KO here? Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Gambit. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we pick up the KO there. I can freely sucker punch this Garchomp. Like, I can get rid of the Garchomp whenever I want. And I am going to bring out the lovely Miascarada. Miascarada. We get to bring out this Pokemon. Uh, Hydreigon might come back out. No one's going to be close. Yeah, Hydreigon does come back out. Okay. Who do I terrestrialize? Obviously, I want to sucker punch you. I think terrestrialize and Miascarada might be a little bit better for us. But I had the choice to move. That's my problem. I had the choice to move. And who do I think he has in the back end? Possibly Rotom. Or Golden Go. I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that just in case the backhand Pokemon. I wanna give us a shot to win this battle. I wanna give us a shot to win this battle. It's gonna be tough. I'm choicing into the flower trick. I am choicing that flower trick. Because if Rotom's in the back end, that could that could really be tough if we can't KO that thing. We're gonna see Terrasalization from him. This might actually help us out because this gotta be Hydron, right? This could be Hydron. What type of energy changer? This could be good for us. 
Oh dear Neptune, this is not good for us. <laughs> not one bit. Not one bit. So Chomp protects, what a lovely protect from him. And I think Miascarada doesn't survive the shot at all, right? And you could be going after either of my Pokemon here. Somehow KO, please. <laughs> I don't think it is. Wow. Wow. That's some big time damage. Gambit? Dodge. I might, I might just won, yo. I'm so, I'm I'm sorry to this guy. I apologize to this dude. I am sincerely sorry. I am sincerely sorry to this to this opponent right here. I am sincerely sorry. I I really am. I really am so sorry. I I I don't know what to say. I'm so, I'd be so mad if I was him. I'd be so upset. I would be so upset. Not one miss, but two. But two heat wave misses. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Because when that happens to me, I'm super upset. I'm like, dude, I would just won the battle. All that, blah, blah, blah. But it kind of feels nice to be on the other side of things. kind of feels nice. Rotom is the final Pokemon, so we did choice to do the right move. And I think we should be fine here. I just constantly sucker punching and flower tricking. I feel so bad. Battle was canceled. We get ourselves a lucky third battle victory. 3 0 for today's video. Probably should have went 2 and 1, but we take those victories all day. I love this team so much. This has been one of my favorite teams to use on the rank ladder. I know I say that a lot, but as of right now, I had so much fun playing this team. The Hariyama, the Frigoraph combo sets up Trick Room so easily. Then you got King Gambit. Skelly Dirge and Trick Room who roll out strong, and Miascarada and Dragapult for other instances that don't involve Trick Room. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.